Hello there, it's Jocelyn Chong. Welcome to the Magnetic Abundance Podcast. You are in the right place if you're a storyteller, business professional, coach or entrepreneur desiring to attract your most aligned clients, earn with ease and create a business by design. Each episode, I teach and interview entrepreneurs and business professionals to share their personal story, skills and experience so you too can create a business by design aligned to your soul's mission. So, let's get started. Welcome back to Magnetic Abundance Podcast. This week, I've got Shana Melissa Stockman. She is 30 years in registered nursing career. And now she has used a lot of her skills, her experience, and wrote even books to really share with others what she has gone through in her life and what she will share with us in this beautiful episode. So let's welcome Shaya. Oh, thank you for having me very much. I know, you are awesome. We connected through a number of books and that uh, you have got this beautiful book that you just launched called Overcoming Life Obstacles. So yes. let's get started in that insight of that book. What prompted you to write that book and share your life's journey? Oh, okay. Long story short. <laughs> no, it's a short so show. I always loved helping people. And right before the pandemic, I wanted to get a bunch of my local friends together because a lot of them didn't know each other. And I thought they could each help each other. Maybe one is selling her design of pocketbooks and the other one can't afford them. And one owns a restaurant and the other one needs to have an event, can have it at the restaurant. And I thought they can all help each other and they don't know each other and the resources are right there. So let's connect maybe around the walk, dinner, a couple of drinks. And then that led to the pandemic starting. And I started something similar online. And I had breakout rooms and we interconnected. And I had all different countries and continents on simultaneously. And a celebrity had asked me to be in her book. And then I had asked her to be in mine. And then I fired the publisher. <laughs> and I helped self-publish. But it's about, in this world of COVID chaos and political power struggles, it's about real people with real stories coming together. They are so inspirational. A lot of people in their struggles, they think they're alone and no one can relate. So about 30 short mini stories of real people with their struggle that people can realize they're not alone in their similar struggles. But better yet, they don't have to take the road less traveled. They can learn from somebody that's already been there, done that, conquered that, and they can also overcome from using those tools to empower them, but also do so at an expedited pace. Mm, I love that you are bringing a community of people coming together to share their stories and opening that channel for each other. So that's amazing. And so tell us a bit more about your work and how did you go to nursing? Oh, okay, great. Well, my, my grandpa was a pharmacist, and I remember when I was little, my grandma, growing up, she would take her heart pill with a banana. And I didn't think anything of it, but years later, I found out it was a potassium-depleting diuretic water pill, and the banana contains potassium. So I learned in health classes that, you know, foods have medicinal purposes. So I started putting the connections together, and then I noticed, wait, she's eating low-salt foods. Oh, it's for her blood pressure, because salt retains water, which raises your blood pressure. So that was the, the first way I knew that there was something else more than just traditional medicine. And then I met a nurse that really changed my life. I said, wait a second, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I had a nursing scholarship, but I didn't know if I wanted to go into nursing. And I met this nurse and I was like, wait, she likes to help people. I like to help people. Wow, she's gonna impact so many lives. She's never gonna know how many lives she truly impacted. And those lives are gonna impact more lives. And that's what I wanna do. So then I went into nursing. And since I've inspired a lot of people to become nurses. So now her tidal wave effect is becoming this rippling. Her effect is becoming a rippling effect and more of a tidal wave. So I wanted to create a rippling effect where I can empower more and more people and help people. And then those people can help people. It's like when I know CPR, I can only save those in the room. But when I could teach CPR to others, I could potentially save lives that are not even, you know, in the vicinity of. You're an author. You're 30 years in nursing and you're also a business owner. So tell us the yes. third particular role that you hold as a business owner. And it's about biohack. So tell us a bit more yes. about that. 
Biohacking changed my life and changed the lives of so many of my patients and my clients. I was introduced to it from a professional athlete. His doctor told him, listen, you have to reduce your oxidative stress level before you ever get an injury. You'll get back in the game quicker. So I researched into it and I checked out. It had aired on ABC primetime investigative reports with John Quinones. And I had known of that show. And then I went to PubMed gov where all the doctors and the healthcare providers look at the real research the validated studies in living humans by third parties and i was blown away and i was i always love getting to the root cause of a problem like when my grandma stopped walking again the doctors left her helpless and hopeless i was able to get her walking again and i get to the source of the problem because if you get to the source you can solve the problem you can often reverse the damage that's done stop the symptoms and then you don't need a lot of the medications anymore so I love getting to the root source of the problem. I yeah. use multiple modalities together. I kind of use a holistic approach. I look at the body, mind, spirit, the whole, the whole body, and on a cellular level. I use a functional approach, which is where they attack the root cause. And I use a naturopathic approach where I use more natural occurring substances when possible. But I also do integrative medicine if needed, because as a board certified, nationally board certified nurse practitioner, I can prescribe every category of medications as well. So I sometimes blend it, infuse it in with medications, and sometimes my clients use it instead of, depending on the clients. And, and now I'm working with a lot of the doctors and specialists because these technologies were not around when they graduated medical school. So they might have been on the top of their A-game at the time, but these are newer technologies. So now I'm finding, you know, I just recently had a specialist call me up. He's like, whoa, what are you doing with my people, you know? And he had to know what I was doing. So when I educate the healthcare providers and the specialists, I think I can have more of that rippling effect, a quicker, mm -hmm. more advanced rippling effect. So you're an author, you're a registered nurse, and you're also an educator. So that leads me to one area of question whereby you mentioned to me that you had a heart failure and that you yes. healed yourself. So I will like yes. to, you know, get you to share that a bit sure. more. That was almost 20 years ago. And I think if it wasn't for alternatives and biohacking, I don't think I'd still be here. Not many people that were that bad of heart failure. I mean, my heart was pumping out less than half of what it should have. My extremities were blue and cold. I don't think I'd still be around today. But again, like when my grandma was left helpless and hopeless, I knew there had to be a better way. So even my heart doctors at the time, you know, I said, listen, is any of this medicine going to stop the progression? No. Is any of it going to reverse the progression? No. And I said, what's the point? I need to find the cause so I can find the solution. And I'll say this. When a healthcare provider is not getting you healthy, you need to consider firing them and getting a second opinion. <laughs> so that's exactly what I did. And, you know, because that cardiologist had told me, well, 95% of the people I never find out why they're in heart failure. And to me, that was unacceptable. I'm young. I'm not doing drugs. I'm not heavy. I wasn't on diet pills. We have to get to the cause to find a solution. Otherwise, the problem's going to get worse and worse and worse. It's so like if your roof is leaking and you just patch it with a piece of tape, right? Sometimes medications are masking tape on a garden hose. They're kind of good for now. They're masking the symptoms. But the underlying problem is getting bigger, bigger, bigger until you can't handle it anymore. And that's what I felt for me at that time in that situation, traditional medicine was for me, is just masking the symptoms and not stop, not getting to the cause. So if I get to the cause, I can get to the problem and solve it. Like I had a client, 100 plus pounds overweight. And I said, listen, after taking a history and knowing more about him, family history, he's like, oh, mom and dad have high blood pressure and diabetes. But once I learn more about him. And I said, wait a second, it was mom's cooking habits and the huge portion sizes and the sedentary lifestyle that she taught you that led to the extra weight and that caused the diabetes and the high blood pressure. And once I made him realize that, I empowered him to know it's not just family genetics. He has the power to take back and to change that. I helped him drop over a hundred pounds. His hypertension went away, his diabetes went away and he didn't have the knee pain anymore. I mean, so get to the root cause where a lot of providers are just giving them a medicine for the high blood pressure, two more pills for the diabetes. No, the weight's causing it. What's causing the weight? The way he's eating the sedentary lifestyle. 
I love the way you think about, you know, take the power back by understanding their lifestyle, their upbringing, how they have been raised, the way they are being taught around food, whether they are educated around food or not. Sometimes we assume that people knew their food and categories so well. We think that everyone reads a magazine just because we do. We think that we exercise so everyone does. But, you know, the more questions we ask of our patients, the more we learn about the root cause. As a result, yes. that, that small tweak, we can make such a big difference. I know that if I eat the same way of cooking um, and methods of producing recipes the way my grandmother did, I will not have a healthy lifestyle. <laughs> Because the way they did it in the past has got so many chemicals, but that was fine for them in the past. Yes. But current modern day, our diet plays such a big role in terms of what we put into our body. And so by actually understanding all the food types and category and also the movements and all that, that can make a huge, huge impact. So I love the work that you do. And Tell us a bit more about, from here, a lot of the roles that you play. Author, a business owner, your 30 years of nursing history. You are doing a lot of work to really teach others now. So you have got programs coming up on your website that you are offering to help people in the medical yes. field to get more educated from a holistic point of view. So give us more insights yes. around what those programs entails. Sure. I want to help. I love empowering my patients with biohacking because a lot of times those, especially that left helpless and hopeless, they can see that there's another way, an alternative, and they re-energize, they feel better, they're happier. A lot of times they're off all of their meds or some of their meds, they're telling me they haven't felt this good in years and decades. So when I empower a healthcare professional with the biohacking techniques, they're simple yet proven techniques that when, when they use them, I can impact a lot more lives. So I want to refocus on, there's only so many patients I can see in a day, but for each healthcare professional I educate with this, they can potentially reach hundreds or thousands of clients. So I wanna refocus a lot of my energy towards the healthcare providers and the professionals because this technology wasn't around when they graduated medical school and they need to come up to par with cutting edge science now so that they can offer it. Because a lot of my clients, they'll tell me, hey, how come my, my doctor didn't offer this or my, my lung doctor? And I said, it wasn't around when they went to med school, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I want mm -hmm. to educate them. My new website just launched today, actually, shanamelissa.com because I had so many different websites for all my businesses and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a free challenge, a three-day challenge, Burnt Out to Blissful. It's geared towards my fellow healthcare pros and fellow nurses, but it's open to others as well. And it's going to be three days, an extended weekend, free, Burnt Out to Blissful. And if they can't make the dates, they can do a VIP upgrade, get all the replays, all the cool bonuses for like $47. Then if they're like, oh my God, I really love this biohacking, what Shana has to offer, what's next? Then there's going to be a full deep dive, full immersion course. It's going to take the equivalent hours of more than a three-hour college credit and all the hundreds of thousands and decades of my knowledge and pack it into one crammed overflowing weekend. And by the end of that, it's going to take them to step by step, the foundation. What do you want out of life? A lot of people, they don't know. They're just work, 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 sleep, eat, work, 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 sleep, eat. Wait, stop the, the hamster wheel for a minute. What do you want out of life? It's like a restaurant. If you go in a restaurant and you don't order what you want, you're not going to get it. Or you go to set your GPS and you don't know where you want to go, you're not going to get there. So I start them out with what do you want out of life? What's in your dreams? What are your limiting beliefs? What's holding you back? How can we overcome them? Then that lays the good foundation. Here's all the healthcare. In 30 years, I've tried a lot of different avenues of businesses. Learn from my mistakes. Smart people learn from their own mistakes. Wise people learn from the smart people's mistakes. So I want them to be wise. I'm going to say, listen, you don't have to do all the mistakes I went through. I can tell you what businesses worked for me, didn't work for me. In the healthcare industry, I've explored a lot of them. And this is what I'm doing now. If this is for you, hey, come, I'll show you how to biohack for yourself. You can either get healthier. You can offer it to your patients. You can do this as a business. And I find healthcare providers, we always tell everyone, or they can get a chapter in my next book as well. But healthcare providers always tell everyone, put on their oxygen mask first. If the 
the airplane's going down, you have to put your mask on first, or you're dead and you can't help anyone. We tell that to a lot of people, but we don't usually take their advice. So I want to show them also with the burnt out to blissful, there's a self-care aspect of it. They can biohack so that they can feel better, re-energize, be happier. And then a lot of times the patients want to know what we're doing to stay healthy and how we're healthy. So the best way we can do it is to lead by example and to be a good role model. You know, you can't be the parent smoking a cigarette telling your kid not to smoke, right? You can't be that 300 pound doctor telling them to drop weight. So lead by example. I just love what I do. I feel better. And a lot of my clients feel better than they had in years and decades. A lot of them, you know, they, they don't need their meds anymore. And that's huge. So I want to show my fellow healthcare pros, listen, you need to do self-care. It's simple capsules, caplets, or drinks that have certain natural herbs in exact proportions and ratio to activate pathways and genes for your body to actually do what it used to do and should do. I help their bodies, when they activate these pathways, I help their bodies make more antioxidants, reduce oxidative stress 40% on average. That's what's linked to all the healthcare problems. I help their bodies produce more mitochondria that's required for cell life. And I help their body activate the sirtuins that actually sirtuins are like little Pac-Men. They gobble up all the garbage to detoxify our bodies. So I help their own body work the way it used to, and it should work so that we can feel the way we used to. So when I help the healthcare professionals do that, and they offer that to their clients, their clients are getting healthier quicker. They're reaching more people because they're not calling back with complaints and side effects and medications and interactions and still sick. So that frees up so much time. There's no health insurance involved with this. So they're not having health insurance issues about pre-authorizations not covered. It's allowing the doctors and the healthcare providers so much extra time to get people healthy that they can impact more people. And what that does is when my clients are happy, they refer me a lot more clients. They're like, hey, do you see, you know, can you see my daughter? Can you see my mother? So it leads the happier clients, synergistic results by activating these three pathways. They get better results, especially merging it with medicine if they need medicine get synergistic results and happier clients, more referrals. It's just a joy to hear the stories rather than in traditional medicine. Oh, I still have a cough and it's 12 hours later, or I have this other problem now with the side effect. It's nice to hear, hey, oh my God, I haven't felt this good in years. Oh my God, I had so much energy today. I love hearing those stories. So it also, it rejuvenates us as healthcare providers. Hearing these success stories makes us drive for more. But also, I want to show the healthcare providers with insurance reimbursements going down and overhead going up, we were having to see more and more and more clients to get the same income. Now they don't have to. They can reach a lot more people in a lot less time to have recurring income, leveraged income is what I call it. So they can have leveraged recurring income. Now I have clients I'm nationally board certified, but with the biohacking, I have clients in other states, countries, and continents now because I'm not tied to just my license and my national board certification. So I have clients in the UK and in Australia, and I'd like to expand more. But, you know, I'm hoping that it'll empower them to not only get their clients healthier by attacking the actual root causes, but it's going to get them healthier, feeling better, re-energized, but also give them back precious time because I know I was working those 80 hours a week, not because I needed the money. I didn't have any coverage and I, I thought every, the world needed me and I couldn't do enough. But in hindsight, I realized I didn't spend enough time with my grandma and my mom before they passed. And I want to show other healthcare professionals, like now's the time. You never know when your precious loved ones are going to pass. You know, work, work's always going to be there. So with biohacking, they can have leveraged recurring income stream. They can impact more lives in less time to have a quality of life, to actually go out to the beach with their kids, their grandbabies, and, and actually have the time to spend their money now. <laughs> mm, I love the magnitude of what you do because it just doesn't stop at one area, but it's so diverse. It has so many ripple good effects on so many avenues. Yes that people can walk away knowing that they make the world a better place. So where I wanted to move away from the roles that you play and learn more about you sure. on a fun way. So we're going to go through some really okay. fun questions to learn more about you. So tell us about your favorite food. My favorite food? That's the pick one. I love to eat. I love lobster. Oh, 
royal reds they call them ruby reds they're the sweetest shrimp in the world they're only found down in like the florida panhandle the keys they are so naturally sweet oh i love them and i miss my grandma's cooking oh my god jewish pot roast oh. Mm -hmm. nice. I love everything. Las homemade lasagna. Oh, I love a lot of foods. I wow. love my fruits and vegetables, but since my jaw is dislocated from an accident, it's hard to eat them all, especially raw. <laughs> oh dear. But that is so wonderful to have so many flavors and richness in your culture. And tell us one outdoor activities you enjoy doing most. Ooh, swimming. I love, I could swim until I'm all pruned up and shriveling and cold. And I just love swimming. I mm. actually, th this might be a fun fact for you. I went jet skiing once and the captain of the boat, I would not fall down my first time jet skiing. So he had to slow the boat down until I went in. And then I went in Cancun at a convention. They had the, the wave simulator. And I couldn't believe I kept staying up forever. I'm like, all right, I'll come in. And then they're like, well, wait, you didn't even get your hair wet. So then I dipped my hair in. So I would love to learn surfing. Mm, come to Australia. We have wonderful coasts that can cater for that. And you get to surf the best waves in the world. That's awesome. So tell us about if you have a playlist, what songs will be in your playlist? Oh, oh, <laughs> I love Journey. Actually, uh, you've probably heard of Journey, right? Mm hmm Okay, this painting right behind me, actually, was done yep. by the drummer, the original drummer, Steve Smith. Wow. Yeah. That's he, gorgeous. Uh, yes. Uh, he is such an, the whole, they're all, he's awesome. The bassist, Ross, is awesome. He actually took his drumstick tips and put neon tips on them. And when he played, he captured the wavelengths of light to the Journey songs. Oh. And he put it onto a canvas. So it's audio art made into visual art. Wow, that's oh. amazing. That is amazing. Yeah, he's such a nice guy. I was so honored that I was invited to the gallery debut they had for his office awesome. when they had a wow. residency there a couple years ago. Now, what is the worst gift you have ever received and what did you do with it? Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I won't say who, but if you're watching, you know who this is. I got this gift. I thought it was so cute. It was the holiday time. It was December. It's cold here in New York. It was a blanket with two little matching mugs and they had the little pine cone on them. They looked really cute. Ah, oh, so you and your husband could la la la, you know, sit by the campfire or whatever. It was embroidered with her last name in it. Somebody had given it to her and I guess it was folded and she did it now <laughs> and, and re-gifted it to me. So no one asked me that question before. I, I've never told that story. But yes, I, I, I don't know what I did with that. I, I never re-gift, so I don't know. I probably donated it or it might still be in my closet. I don't know. <laughs> that is fun to know. That's a great secret recipe. And tell us, if you are in a bar, which part of that bar will we find you? The dance floor. And you'll be dancing. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm good. I just like to do it. <laughs> I've been told I'm good, but I, I don't know. <laughs> you look like someone who can do come a lot of I'm moves. Fine. A lot of moves. And tell us a bit more about your daily ritual, your self-care strategies. What do you do during the day to keep yourself alive, vibrant, in line with what you do, and so much that it meets your soul's mission? Okay. I do a lot of biohacking from the second I wake up. As soon as I wake up, instead of a coffee, because coffee used to give me a lot of, a lot of my patients that had heartburn, reflux, losing their vocal cords, sore throats, if it wasn't an infection, it was from the coffee over the years, it catches up. So I have, I've had one cup in maybe two years. I have these energizing drinks here that I love, my little shaker bottle. I shake them up. So I first wake up, I have filtered water in a PBA-free bottle. 
I use my energizing drink with all my B vitamins, B12, B6, L-thionine, quercetin, a lot of good foods for the brain. It doesn't give me palpitations, raciness, no highs, lows, just great energy all day long. First, I have that. I drink it with my activators that activate those pathways. And those pathways make, you know, my body create more antioxidants, reduce oxidative stress, get rid of the toxins. I cleanse my face with the topical version of the activators. I shower with the hair care system with the activators in it. So my hair is looking actually less frizzy and fuller than it used to. I have a new, a new person assistant helping me and he goes, Shana, I have to be honest with you, that picture, how old is that picture you're using on the website? And I was like, I don't know, a year or two. He goes, you look so much younger now. Can you please replace that picture? Your hair looks better. So I, I didn't realize it. So I had to run and replace pictures because I apparently look younger now than I did a few years ago. So I use their hair care system with the activators, the skin care system with the activators. I drink the activators in an energizing drink. I In there, I throw in my prebiotic. I throw in my immune supporters that has all my immunes in one little scoop. I throw my collagen in there and that has five sources of collagen. I shake it up. I'm ready to go. I drink it with my omegas. My omegas has all the good stuff, all the really good omegas, not just the cheap six, three, the seven, the EPA, the DHA. I, I drink that, my energizing drink with my probiotic. And what else? That gets me going. Then uh, I'm like, oh my God, what do I have to do? <laughs> you have lots of magic nutrients already keeping you so energized. And I can see that why the work that you do now is reversing aging. Like I see how the way you speak and your skin is glowing and your hair is full, really nourished. Yeah, it is a representation of your yes. deep, powerful and self-care strategies. You know, I, I used to be a sun worshiper and my grandma had warned me back in the day. And of course I didn't listen. I wanted the cool tan. But, you know, recently I went to Durham and he's like, oh, my God, you have the most amazing skin. Now, I'll give away my age. I'm in my 50s. But and I was a sun worshiper up until I realized. And so I had worshipped the sun for so many years. And for him to tell me I had the most amazing skin. And actually, true story, I was going to go for a biopsy. And the, the topical activators, I had to wait two weeks to get into the, for the biopsy to get the, the lesion removed. It was multiple colors. You know, you guys, if you have a lesion that's changing size, color, if it's multiple colors, irregular borders, those are all reasons, a non-healing wound to get checked out, get a biopsy. So I scheduled for biopsy. I had to wait two weeks to get in with the good doctor. <laughs> and I said, you know, let me try the topical activator. Now, the activator does not have any bleaching ingredients. So it didn't go away because of bleach like some other products. And it totally went away. When I went for that check, he goes, you know, I couldn't see it on my back. He goes, there's nothing there for me to even take off. So he wanted to know more about what I was doing. So now I'm educating the specialist. Wow. Such a good testimonial of what yeah, you Yeah, skin's the largest yourself. organ. People need to put the activator on their skin. When they use, when you guys use, not you, but when people use cheap uh, hair care products, their scalp absorbs so much and then they rinse it off and it, it lands on their largest organ, their skin, and then their feet soak in the shower in their carcinogenic shampoos, you know? There's, mm. there's an app you can get called Think Dirty and you can scan the barcodes of all your products and see how bad they are for you. And mm. you'll be amazed. All the products I use have the lowest ratings, like zero, one, two. The higher rating, the worse it is for you and the environment. How good is that? And we need to really think that way to ensure that we are responsible for our own self-care and, and also the products that we're using. Yeah. Yes. And a lot of people don't realize with a lot of herbal products, they did not have a lot of double blind placebo controlled studies, you know, with like the sugar pill group and the people on it. And they didn't have a lot of studies in living humans. So the wellness of the activators that I take all has proven studies. What's so important, what impressed me the most with this company is that when I started, I went to PubMed uh, Central.gov where all the real studies are. And six years ago when I started, there was uh, there were six studies on the first activator I started on, which was huge because no finished herbal blend product had a study on PubMed. You know, there might be studies on an ingredient, but not a finished product. So that floor be, and then to see some of them in living humans, not done by the manufacturer, that was like double, huge, huge. And now fast forward six years, there's over a hundred studies on the government website 
some of them in living humans done by third party universities. So that pulls a lot of weight. And mm. one of the companies that I collaborate with now is not only over a $200 million global biotech company, but activist Erin Brockovich is on the board. Now she can't be bought for any amount of money. So I mean, that, that says it's weight in gold right there. I'm just blessed. And if you guys get the book, my book, my first book, Overcoming Life Obstacles, you know, you can read the forward in there that actually compared me to the board member and activist Erin Brockovich. Amazing, amazing. Congratulations once again for that book. And thank you so much for sharing so much insights, your skills, your personal life journey and personal stories as well to really inspire our listeners. So one last question, if you were to live a gift on this earth, what would that gift be? If I was what? If there's a gift that you want to leave on this earth, what would that gift be? I want to leave a legacy behind. Not a materialistic thing, but I want to be well, worldwide, well known for the biohacking that I call not just supplementation, but activation that I like to, I would, I say I would rather prevent your disorder today than treat your disorder tomorrow. I'm so into prevention with the biohacking. What I would love, I created an acronym for the book called OLO, Overcoming Life Obstacles for the title of the book. But if you look at the cover that I designed, we're all uplifting each other. And at the top, we're celebrating together, uplifting each other, our wins together. So I love, would love for Olo to take off. So instead of somebody accomplishing something and saying, yes, it's more like Olo, not YOLO, Olo. Like it's, it's proud that you had an obstacle, you overcame, yes, Olo. And, you know, for the biohacking and people worldwide spreading it to more people, spreading it, I would love all the biohackers to say Olo, you know? Just like when they're feeling better, Olo, you know, when they accomplish something, Olo. And I Olo, think, you know, Olo, if we Olo. All, Olo, yes, Olo. It's overcoming, it's a double acronym. It's for overcoming life obstacle and optimistically lifting others. So mm. I think with the biohacking, like the nurse impressed me and she'll never know how many lives she impacted. I think in some ways I've impacted so many lives and a lot of them, they're not going to remember me. Like, for instance, there was a premature infant that I helped save, and that was probably like 30 years ago. He wouldn't know me. He could be talking to me every day. He would not recognize me, you know? And I, I would like to live the legacy on. And even if they don't remember Shane or Melissa, they're like, oh, well, who is that? That wild, crazy hyper chick that doesn't do drugs and just does that biohacking thing with that Olo. What was her name? And of course, Shane and Melissa would be nice if they remembered that. But if not, I'll take the Olo. And just that that somebody introduced this biohacking to them. That I used to be looked at as a nurse. But now all the doctors and specialists, not all of them, a lot of them are looking at me to learn more about the biohacking. So I'd like them to teach it to other doctors and other specialists, you know. Absolutely. And then teach Absolutely. it to their patients. Yes. And then hopefully the name Shana, like, yes, yeah, Shana taught me this. Shana Melissa taught me this. Exponential like growth. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, compound effect. About multiplication, right? Like you said, compounding effects. Yes. Sorry, thank you so much, Shana, for coming in. Thank you. Just share all this. And I hope that your legacy will travel yes. to hundreds of generations to come and that your books will yes. be read far and wide, that people will pass yes. it on to so many people beyond the medical field, but anyone who has Aww. the desire to learn more and more about the book as well. So listeners, yes. check her out. I made it easier for the viewers. Everything Shana Melissa now. If you want to find my website, shanamelissa.com. Instagram, Shana Melissa. My link tree, Shana Melissa. And everything is on my link tree. The new website, they can go to the Get Healthier section or they can go to the create a deeper impact, make more money section, or they can go to, hey, I want to be a best-selling author section. So I kind of made it pretty user-friendly for them. And I hope to see them for the free challenge and maybe move forward to the, the deep dive full immersion course or a chapter in the next best-selling book. With the NBA. Awesome. Did you know over 90% of people want to become authors and less than 1% do? I know. know they can. They just write a quick chapter. We have it professionally edited. We have it beautifully, core, core, you know, designed. 
And they just write one simple chapter instead of spending their whole life and their whole life fortune writing an entire book. One chapter, it sounds beautiful. And all together, we drive it to number one. That's what I did. And these are all the authors in the last compilation book that I did. I put them all on the back cover. And they all got a one to two page bio in here, links to all their social media sites, because I wanted it to uplift them. Thank you so much for being in this show. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. Please check out the show notes for more details and resources that you can access and explore. I would like to invite